Hey everybody, it's Scott Atwood again, and I am going through Donner's Pass. This is the, just going over the Truckee River, this is where, if you haven't ever heard of it, uh, the Donner Party uh, in 1846, I think, came through here, tried to take a shortcut, got stuck in the snow, and uh, lost a lot of, a lot of, lot, a lot of people died. There even was some cannibalism. And I had this whole thing worked out where I was going to do this whole thing on Donner's Pass. And the Lord's moved me in a different direction. So, what I want to talk to you about today is two different kind of Christians. They're real, real prevalent in the churches today. You got your uh, have you ever heard that story about the uh, tortoise and the hare? Well, that's what I'm going to talk about. The tortoise Christian and the hare Christian. The tortoise Christian is the Christian that she's got a Sunday school class. Been, every time the church doors is open, she's there. Sits in the middle of church. Nobody really hears nothing out of her. She does... Maybe she plays the piano, has a little Sunday school class, does a little of this and a little of that, cooks for the church, does, and uh, never gets any credit for anything, and she doesn't care. She's there every time the doors are open. If somebody needs somebody to visit somebody in the hospital, she'll be there. And then you got your hair Christian, your rabbit, and he gets on fire for the Lord, and he wants to preach, and he wants to go soul winning and he might win a few souls and he's out on the street preaching and he's handing out tracts and he's uh, doing real good in the church and then he gets discouraged. As soon as he gets discouraged, he gets his feelings hurt and there he goes, off to the sideline. He's off to the sideline but pretty soon you'll see the tortoise Christian coming up and here she comes at a steady pace leaning slightly forward about a year or two goes by and the hair christian he's been out in the world and he hadn't done anything he's backslidden and then uh he gets right with god and he comes right back to the church and this time he's gonna charge hell with a water pistol and he's starting new programs and he wants to uh preach every sunday if he can and he wants to do this and he wants to do that and he's on fire for the Lord and everything's going great until he gets discouraged or somebody hurts his feelings and then he's right back to the sideline. He's back to the sideline and here comes that tortoise Christian. You can see her coming a mile away, moving at a steady pace, leaning slightly forward. She's still got that same old Sunday school class, still plays the piano, cooks fried chicken for the church and is there every time the doors are open. If the pastor needs anything done, he knows he can go to her because she's trustworthy. She never misses uh, service, always there, always faithful, praying for the brethren and leaning slightly forward few years go by and there comes that rabbit Christian again he done got sick of the world so he got right with God and here he is right back in the church jumping right back in and he's talking loud and he's telling everybody all the souls he's won and all the things he's doing for the Lord and he's he's really doing something and he passes by that tortoise like she's standing still and he's getting programs started and he's up in that pulpit every time he can get in that pulpit and he's preaching and he's winning souls for the Lord until he gets discouraged or somebody hurts his feelings. Anyway, here comes that tortoise Christian one more time. She's leaning slightly forward. Still got her Sunday school class. Probably added two or three last year to her Sunday school class still playing the piano, still being faithful. My point is, everybody's in the race, 
And it's not how you start the race, it's how you finish the race. My prayer is that I'll finish the race well. And what kind of Christian are you? Are you that rabbit Christian? You get on fire for a while and somebody hurts your feelings? Or are you that steadfast, leaning, slightly forward Christian that's there doing the Lord's work in the thickness, in the storm? What kind are you? Anyhow, I was going to do a whole thing on this Donner's Pass, and uh, the Lord moved it a different direction. But ain't it beautiful up here? It wasn't that beautiful for Donner party. Uh, they tried to take a shortcut. They tried to beat everybody else. They were like the hare. <laughs> they tried to beat everybody else. The California ended up costing them their lives. Anyhow, this is Donner's Pass, and I am Scott Atwood, and I hope you are a tortoise Christian. And may the Lord bless you, and whatever you do, read your Bible. God bless you, folks.